You're listening to One Piece of Advice, brought to you by eeleaders.com, a ministry to encourage and equip church leaders. Hey guys, this is Pastor Pilgrim Benham from Shoreline Church in Bradenton, Florida, and I want to take a minute and talk to you about the importance of friendship in ministry. You know, I think sometimes in ministry, we think, hey, I'm around a lot of people, so Man, I've got so many friends. I mean, look at all the followers I have on Facebook. Look at all the followers I have on Instagram. And yet, as we really begin to peel back the layers a little bit to our own social life, we realize I don't have encouragement. I don't have people around me that are peers that can pour into me. And so I want to give you a few practical ideas from the scripture. In Acts chapter 9, we have a guy by the name of Barnabas. And in chapter 9, verse 27, it says, Barnabas took Paul and brought him to the apostles. I think it's really cool that Paul the Apostle, before he got to that place of, of leading and planting churches, Paul needed someone who was a peer to kind of bring him in to a deeper relationship with Jesus. Later in uh, the book of Acts, in uh, chapter 11, it says uh, that Paul's kind of gone now off the scene. He's kind of back in Tarsus, kind of um, about 10 years just out of touch off the, the scene. And it says in verse 25, chapter 11 of Acts, Barnabas departed for Tarsus and he sought after Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. That's where they got involved in ministry. And so it's so important to see that in the life of Paul. Paul had a Barnabas. His name means son son of encouragement. He had someone in his life who pointed him, pulled him to Jesus, um, that brought him into deeper ministry. And you and I, when we're in ministry as a pastor, as a leader, we've got to have other guys in our life that are going to sometimes pull us, sometimes push us to be closer to the Lord, and they're going to challenge us in uh, discipleship. I've got friends from all around Florida, all around the country, and we talk almost on a weekly or, or once a month, twice a month basis. And we they ask me the tough questions, we, we chat, we pray together. Sometimes it's a text, sometimes it's a meme, sometimes it's a Facebook message, sometimes it's a phone call. But I know these men are praying for me, uh, these men love me, And I love them. And there's that accountability and that encouragement. Uh, The other thing that's super important is that when we're struggling, when we're discouraged, I have a phrase, we need to vent up. What I mean by that is we don't vent, meaning let me just share all my frustration with the ministry. We don't do that to someone who is ministering um, underneath our care. Uh, That can shipwreck our ministry very quickly. We want to vent up. I mean, I'm going to vent to someone who's a peer or someone I look up to as a mentor. It's so important that we have a Barnabas in our life that's going to pull us closer to Jesus, that's going to challenge us, challenge us. and sometimes those Barnabases we're going to sometimes conflict with. We, we see that later in the book of Acts as they disagree over John Mark. There's going to be those moments where iron sharpens iron, but you know I think uh, at the end of Paul's ministry, Barnabas was still someone that Paul looked to for encouragement. So I want to just ask, do you have someone in your life that's a friend? Do you have someone in your life that you can rely on, that relies on you? If you don't, man, find someone. Find someone in your church, or better than that, someone in another ministry, another pastor, that you can pour into that you'll receive uh, some love and and, uh, feedback from. God bless you guys, and I want to encourage you to go for it. Have a friend. God bless.